Okay, my name is Scott Gloop. I'm the project leader for the Litchfield Wetland Management District office with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Well, the mission of the Fish and Wildlife Service obviously is wildlife oriented and uh, diversity is key if you want good wildlife populations. Pollinators are critical in many ways in terms of the diversity, pollinating native plants, key food sources for other things that might eat pollinators. So they're just an intricate part of the web of life. We work with Pheasants Forever on multiple different kinds of projects, of habitat, land acquisition, and education when it comes to pollinators. Pollinators as a whole are really, really in trouble. Their populations have declined dramatically. Uh, so they need all the help they can get. Generally speaking, when we, we talk to people about the importance of pollinators, we have a tendency to focus on how it benefits them specifically uh, because that's what most people are interested in. And, and so in order to reach those people, we talk about the importance of pollinators for producing many of the fruits and vegetables and other plants that we feed and how important pollinators are to our food supply. But I often also challenge them to come up with other reasons why pollinators are important. And uh, some of those reasons are having a healthy ecosystem, having a healthy diversity of wildlife. What are the values to you personally in preserving our natural heritage and the natural habitats that we had here? Monarchs rely on milkweed for their larvae to feed, but those adults have to feed their entire life to stay alive, and they're feeding on flowering plants, pollinator plants. So you can't just have milkweeds and have good monarch habitat or pollinator habitat. You have to have a whole variety of flowering plants that are blooming throughout the season. This is New England Aster. It's, it's also got a beautiful purple flower on it and it blooms very, very late in the fall. It's one of the latest blooming plants in the fall to provide nectar sources for pollinators. And pollinators really benefit from uh, having asters of various kinds in their in the plantings for that late season food source that they need before they're getting ready for overwintering. So it's very very encouraging the change that I've seen in my career on the interest of pollinators and many 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 people are becoming more and more aware of it.